I think for um, writers to meet their readers and um, obviously festivals are, are a really great way to, to do that mm. and also with something like the Queen's Park Festival which has lots of different types of events going on you can kind of explore new genres that maybe you're not so familiar with so I'm a crime writer so I tend to get people who are really interested in those kinds of stories but sometimes you can pick up people who might you know normally read completely different types of books and, and it just really creates a kind of good atmosphere. Mm. So an eclectic array of subjects and topics to look forward to. Thomas what else can you expect when you go along? Well Queen's Park itself it's this gem of northwest London it's a beautiful 13 hectare park and it's got everything in it and it's the absolutely ideal place uh, for a festival which is why it's just perfectly situated and we have as you say all sorts of genres that are happening there are kids events there are free events there's food and drink stores there are all sorts of other activities there are exhibitions, uh, exhibitions based upon the local people. At and, and how do you choose your authors? Are they local to <laughs> London, or you know, how, how do you select it's them? It's a very good question. It's 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 not easy because we think well, it it has been the most fantastic example of a, a community festival uh, coming together to create something. And then you say, well, what does that mean, and how can we create that? So. The great thing about Queen's Park is that we have so many brilliant writers like Ali and so many others who are taking part and over half the participants uh, come from within walking distance of the park which is amazing and I think that the vision that we, we, we created was one of combining uh, new talent, up and coming talent with some of the most established names Mm -hmm. uh, in literature and yes that's what yeah. we, we've done. And, and Ali, what, what inspires you? I mean you, are you inspired by real events, real people? So say for example you were going to meet people at the festival, would you then turn them into characters into your crime novels? Is that <laughs> how it works? It's such a good question and it's such a difficult one to answer because I think your inspiration comes from so many different areas so it can literally be one person you might meet one day at a festival it could be a, a snippet of something you see on the news it could be a, a funny story somebody tells you when you're having a coffee you know they just it's so difficult to kind of pinpoint and they kind of get in your mind and filter down and months or years later out they come on the page as characters or stories and and with sort of modern day technology with apps and computers and smartphones how do we inspire our children to carry on reading <laughs> How can we get them stuck into question. a book? Because it's getting mm. ever harder, yeah, there, isn't there's it? There's a battle for people's time. That's a real issue. And what we're doing and together, intention is, mm. is battling to get them off that sort of mini series on Netflix and back to a book, which you know they'll take eight or nine hours to read. So I think these festivals are really a way of helping, inspiring people to realise that that we're entertainers and that books mm. are entertainment and uh, mm. are very fulfilling. And what mm. goes into organising this? It must be a big planning procedure, right? It, it is. It's 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 significant. Um, well, I'm very lucky that I've got this fantastic committee, uh, so it's, which have helped over many many months to structure it, and that we've also partnered with various organisations. So, you, talking about bringing younger people into reading is such an important part of what we do and we're literally doing that at the festival. We have charity partners with a literacy charity called Real Action. We have other schools partnerships to be able to bring people to the festival. So the logistics is, is significant but also we have a lot of volunteers so it's everyone coming together to create it.